So working on day eight of the advent calendar and I chose the silver story to go with it. And what I wanted to do was actually create a tabletop scene and a centerpiece. And by the way, this is my first time creating a centerpiece and the struggle is real. So all you stylists out there, holla. I totally appreciate what you do. I always have, but this actually gave me a whole new appreciation. I don't know if you can tell, but I got mad glitter all over my face. I'm covered in sparkles. So I just kind of wanted to talk about, you know, the inspiration and what I did. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of trees here. And I kind of went with like a winter wonderland, uh, silver, white, with a touch of like a darker silver here. Um, but we've got our faux greenery, all different styles of Christmas trees. And I really tried to apply the height technique when stacking all the trees together because, you know, it's very challenging to try to put it all together. If it's all the same height, it just kind of looks really weird. And I wanted to bring in with the placemats some sparkle because we love sparkle. We always want to have the sparkle and even the plates really super cute. They have the sparkle in them as well. And just kind of add a napkin here just for softness as well as lighting the candles for a little bit of warm glow and also the lights as well for a little bit of a warm glow. Our reindeer is the hero. He's the silver stud. Silver stud, silver stud. Check out the silver stud. So if you wanna come on over here, I'll talk about you know, the end result. Um, so what I did here, this is kind of what we're working with in the end result of the photo. This is um, the main shot, but I also actually did a plate because as you can see, the lights really aren't showing up that well here. So I shot a plate, I sh turned off my pocket wizard, so that way I can actually take this image apply it over to this image, and in Photoshop, I'll really enhance these lights so it's much more of a glow. Now, if you wanna come over here, just to show you what I did with the lighting, I used the beauty dish, and I do have a grid on it with the sock because I wanted to really soften the light and kind of give it like that directional um, beam coming through. Now, I also ended up using from V Flat World, I use the V-flat for the light to bounce off here so it would fill in the reindeer and the metal and some of the shadows. And also, if you notice in the background, I have a medium softbox by Chamira, and it's on my Profoto D500 light because the background was really, really dark. You could see the pipes, and it just really brought the image down. So I'm just using this to kind of bounce the light only on the background so it kind of blows that out and gives you that dreamy ethereal look um, because without that it was really dark and it just didn't look good at all so i hope you guys enjoy the behind the scenes and you stick with us oh wait one more thing i'm using the canon mach 4 camera over here on my foba stand uh, with the uh, pocket wizard and I'm also using the 85 millimeter lens because I really wanted that soft, creamy background. Um, and this is the setup over here. And I'm shooting tethered so that way you can see the image as you're shooting and make the modifications as you go.